take me in the post. All right. I got to right. get as much as I can on you. Because I know I'm going to be in trouble once once you get to basketball. I know there I'm going to be hurt. <laughs> Wear me out. I know you're safe. You're going spring training. <laughs> Comes, here it comes. Oh boy. Let's see it. All right, I'll let you shoot from out there. Things look bad for the home kid. Tied up. Okay, you getting tired yet? You kidding? I live tight. Don't you ever get tired? You're not allowed in basketball. We can't rest. It is. Cheat. <laughs> Look one way and go the other way. That's no fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's how about that? <laughs> I'm tired. And I got enough. <laughs> you win. I'm whipped, man. All right. <laughs> uh, the younger athlete, the modern athlete of today, your Julia Servings, your David Thompsons, there are differences in today's athletes and athletes in the past. Uh, it becomes almost a mental game when a fella gets over 30. I myself uh, be 31 years old in May, and the game is a lot more mental to me. What is the difference between today's players uh, of the 70s and the players of the 60s and the 50s? I think the players of the 60s and 50s and things like that were much better fundamentally. Today you see an individual go one-on-one -on -one and slam dunk, and I think they're exciting plays, but I think that you lose some of the concepts of basketball when you do this a little too much. When you talk about John Havlicek, uh, where does all of his endurance, where is all his tenacity, where is all his stamina come from? You've been a guy that never seems to get tired, never seems to sweat. You continue to run your opponent down. You're telling me a little interesting story about your lungs about it. <laughs> you know, earlier today, uh, tell me about that. Well, it's uh, unusual, I guess, in some people, but when I take a chest x-ray, they more or less have to take two of them because my lungs are larger than the screen. So this is what allows me to develop, you know, some of the capacity for me being able to endure maybe a little better than some other people because of this intake and that type of thing. John Havlicek, a brilliant floor captain who led his Celtic teammates to eight NBA championships. A remarkable clutch shooter who always seemed to come through when the pressure was greatest. Throughout his career, Havlicek epitomized the word endurance, a perpetual motion machine who continually wore down his opponents with seemingly endless stamina. My heartbeat is only about 42, 43, or 44, so wow. these are things that I think enable me to play at my age.